Lee and welcome to my channel. And this video is titled, A Narcissist Really Thinks You're That Dumb. And of course, that can apply to multiple instances that have happened in our relationship. But this is a most recent thing that happened. And I'm like, either he really thinks I'm that dumb or he's that dumb to where he believes, like just, and again, let me preface this whole thing by saying, grown man, almost 60 years old, the little girls that he messes with, over 50, okay? Because these, these little girls that he messes with I can't call them women because there's nothing about these girls that act ladylike, womanly in any way, shape, or form. Ugh, like I just, yeah. And also, I was thinking about this today. I don't know if it's just this older generation because, like I said, he's 15 years older than me, okay? Almost 60 years old, okay? I've dated guys, I've always dated guys that have been older than me, always, whether it's been a year older than me, five years, 10 years, whatever. I've always dated guys that were older than me. He's the first guy that I've ever dated that was that much older than me, 15 years. But it didn't really seem like that big of an age difference to me, not at all. <laughs> Maybe because of the way that he acted, I don't know, but it, it, that, that age difference wasn't a big thing to me. But I don't know if it's just this older generation or just the, 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 the clique that he hangs with, but they can't be honest and faithful if their freaking life depended on it. And I'm not used to that. I am not used to that at all. And I think that's why this little relationship just completely, well, devastated me on many levels. Um, I never experienced anything like that. The guys that I dated previously, and I was in a few serious relationships before him, but all of these guys, like, they had my back. We were best friends. Like, not only was that my boyfriend, that was like my partner in crime. That was my best friend. That was like my everything. You know, I was used to if girls were trying to come up and flirt, no, nah, man, I can't do that. No, like, step off. No. I got a girl, I'm with Lee. Like, that's what I'm used to. I was used to guys actually saying, no, uh-uh. And then I get with this guy who's pushing 60 years old, who I see the exact messages of these disgusting skanks, knows that he's with me, we live together, and it's break up with her, break up with her, <laughs> trying to bang him says he didn't bang this one disgusting chick, but I saw the messages, honey, saw the messages. And if they didn't bang, they sure as heck did something else. Oh, I'm, I miss holding you. I miss, t uh. and not once did he ever say, while well, all these little girls are in his little messages, not once did he ever stick up for me. Not once did he ever say, no, I'm in a relationship. No, nothing, nothing. So not only am I seeing all of that, but it's just like, oh, and also, I wasn't used to my boyfriend talking smack about me behind my back. And I saw the messages of him just telling me to my face, oh, I love you, I love you. Then behind my back, oh, I can't stand my girlfriend. Oh, God, she's getting on my nerves. Uh, 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 uh. And it's like, boy, gossip's more than a little schoolgirl. And that's the thing is these older people, they act like I... It, 18 year old kids act more mature than, than the, this group, right? So, I mean, this just has me completely just baffled and, and it's, this is how the saying is, just because you are older, does not mean that either you are wiser or more, more mature. Because I remember I dated guys maybe only a few years older than me and it was shutting these girls down. Nope, nope, can't do that, no, nope, uh-uh. So. Yeah, so here is the instance that I was like, okay, this was fairly recent. And of course, like I said, actual 
actually, I'm not sure because he had broken up with me hundreds upon thousands of times. So I'm not sure if this was, when this was, if might have been when he was trying to get back into my good graces, right? So, okay, like I said, king of Facebook, king of Facebook, pitting it all out there, blah, blah, blah. So he made a post about how he was having cigar night at his house, okay? And he calls it, well, I'll say his last name, whatever. So uh, on his little post, it was a, you know, cigar party at Casa Caruso, whatever. So this girl, this girl who I guess runs in the same circle that he does, little trashy, nasty, just uh, bottom of the barrel, yeah, who's probably older than me, probably 50. I mean, just, just trash, right? They run in the same circles. They play at the same smoky, dingy bars to where you'll get shanked outside in the slums of Pinellas County, okay? So she leaves a, she leaves a little comment, and she's like, I want to come stay at Casa Caruso. Now, let me say something here. That comment didn't bother me. Comment didn't bother me. What bothered me was this, okay? Um, I, I think the page refreshed. That comment was gone. He deleted it. I'm like, so deleting something, you're trying to hide something, right? Like, I comment didn't bother me. It was the fact that it got deleted. So I ask him, First, I, I'm, I'm like, because on, I, on Facebook, and I'm not on Facebook, so I don't flip and know, but I guess it'll say, let's say it'll say 10 comments, even though one got deleted, it'll show nine, but it'll say 10, you know, whatever. So I was like, why, um, why is there like a comment missing? Who deleted something? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't... So... And then I think I even asked him, like, I can't even remember exactly, but he just completely deflected, completely just, um, I, I don't know what, but he lied. He straight up lied. That's it. He lied. He didn't, he didn't say a, um, you know, this girl made a comment and I, I didn't like the comment or I thought that it was inappropriate. So I deleted it. Because now, again, remember, I'm used to telling my boyfriend everything. My boyfriend tells me everything. Like, you know, that's my best friend. Well, he, our, our relationship was not that. And I definitely got to do another video. But our relationship definitely was not an open communication relationship. So he lied to me about deleting this comment. So um, I, get, I think we broke up over that. Or I'm sorry, he broke up with me over that. And then I guess whenever he was like, the time he was begging me, I went no contact on him, begging me to get back into my good graces. And I asked him about that comment. I said, so why did you delete Samantha's comment? And he said, oh, then he tried to tell me. Well, I messaged her and told her that I didn't think my girlfriend would like it and that I deleted her comment. And she was so understanding. And I was like, I saw it, it was deleted. I asked you about it and you straight up lied to my face about it. He didn't say anything. He's like, oh, well, I didn't think that you would like it. And I'm like, well, then why did you lie to me? Why did you lie to me and just give me some BS thing? Why, why couldn't you tell the truth? Why didn't you say, hey, she left a comment. I didn't think you would like it. I deleted it. How hard is that? Because when you delete something, it makes it look like you're trying to hide something. And honestly, he probably is because this disgusting, she is, she's gross. She's it, like not only gross on the outside, gross on the inside, honey. Just, ugh. So she made a comment under one of his pictures. Of course, I don't know if she was referencing him, referencing another person in the picture. I don't know, probably him. But she was like, oh, it's my band boyfriend. I didn't even, I, don't, I didn't care. At that point, I'm like, you know what? Whatever. So, <laughs> in my experience, 
I feel like narcissists are very, they are smart. They are smart. They are charming. And it's like I've said previously, um, I feel like narcissists, it's a combination with them of, are they that dumb, that delusional, that arrogant? But I kind of want to say, no, they're not that dumb. They think you're dumb. They think you are dumb. They think you will believe anything. And just like with this person, like most, most narcissists, when you prove a valid point, radio silence, nothing. So it's like, okay, so you're smart, but you're not that smart. So thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this content, please consider subscribing. Thanks, guys. See ya.